somebody ought to get excited about Jesus Christ is the only thing I can tell you. Just talking about it, like just a few hours ago, a couple of hours ago, somebody asked us, we could, we were talking about us traveling, we were telling them where we were going, and she said, you must be, are you excited about it? And we said, I'm excited all the time. But we are excited, but not about the traveling or going, it's just excited about what Jesus is doing. Absolutely. And excited about what his next step is going to be for us. Absolutely. That's what makes us excited, not the traveling. That's the, abund yeah. that's the abundant life. Yeah. You know, Seeing what he's going to do. Before I got saved, I had stuff. Oh, goodness. I had stuff before we got saved. Mm -hmm. And now, basically, I don't have stuff. And it's not, yeah. a, and, and this, I mean, the stuff is a burden. I'm sitting here, and we're in a motel room where we're staying at the moment. I'm looking, I'm looking at our two little suitcases. Alice has a suitcase, and I have a suitcase. That's where we live. Everything. Basically everything we own. That, that's clothes, that's stuff. But, but, but that, that, everything we own is in those two suitcases. Everything we own is in those two suitcases. I don't have the stuff anymore. Hallelujah. You know what I have? Everything I need. Because if I have need of something, God will supply it. And he does. He never fails. Never, ever, ever. Now, I don't mind if you go out and get rich. Because if you, you know, if that's what God has planned for you, you know, it's true that God had the Apostle John pray for, for yes. Gaius yes. and said, I pray because Gaius had that you, you're blessed and prosper, be in health even as your soul prospers. He just passed on with God. That doesn't mean he prayed that for you, by the way. No. He prayed it for Gaius because Gaius was a man who had a reputation through the entire church for his generosity, for his support of the gospel. And I'm going to tell you something. You know, I've said this a lot of times when I teach. I teach pastors this a lot. I have a theology. God will supply. Do you not believe? Do you believe the word of God? Raise your hand if you believe the word of God. Okay. Good. I'm glad to see you do that. God will supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He says that same thing to you. Do you believe it? Don't get deceived and think that that means... And when you have a need, there's going to be a knock at the door, and it's going to be UPS or FedEx mm -hmm. or because you know it's very likely. And this is I'll, I'll use this as an example, an example I know to be true. If I have a need, God is going to supply that thing. Hallelujah. But He is likely, even more likely, to give the thing that I need to Mark. What? Because that's the way He works. See, because Mark loves me. You love me, brother. Mm -hmm. And if you see your brother in need, you give him what he needs. Because if, he, if, if I have a need of something, Mark doesn't, and God gives it to him, what does Mark now have? Abundance. An abundance. Because you have more, more than, you, than need. you need. If he gave you something that you didn't need, but I did, he, you now have an abundance. So what happens is when you see me in my need, you can give to me out of your abundance. Did you never read this in Paul's letters? That's how the body functions. If my stomach gets hungry, I don't go any place and they open up my stomach and start stuffing food in. They'll give me the food, the food comes to my hand. My hand gives it to my mouth. My mouth chews it and gives it to my stomach. This, the body is the example that God made. God has a wonderful plan to bless you. And by the way, in that little scenario that I just gave, God will bless me by supplying my need. But I recall that it says hmm, that it is more blessed to give than to receive. So not only would I get blessed, but he'd get blessed. And he'd get, it says more. It's more blessed to give than to receive. So he'd get more blessed than me. And oh, what joy would bring. Learn, learn, learn to be used by God to give. Whatever he, God has given you an abundance of. And if Jesus said, I can't, you might have life and have it abundantly. You do have an abundance of something. It may be an abundance of joy. It may be an abundance of material things. The point is that we have to learn that God's plan is the right plan. God will give us stuff, not for, our, not for us, because it, it's the benefit, it, the blessing is to give. It's more blessed to give than to receive. But we work together as a family. We work together as a body. 
All that God sends and does is for our blessing. If you think that the law is a curse to you, if you think the law is bad, and you think you are free from the law, you're not. The law is still there to bless you. What you are free from is being under the law and from the curse of the law. But it's all the Word of God. And I promise you, all the Word of God will build faith in your life. And that faith will lead you to an obedience to Christ. It will lead to all of the blessings of God. Read Deuteronomy 28, all right?